Who's ready to get this werewolf summer solstice party started? Addison, what are you doing here? It's only like four o'clock. Hey, we late? Nah. The party doesn't start for another two hours. Good, great. Why'd we run in from town again? Okay, so I'm a little excited about my first official werewolf party. Cool. So let's set this baby up. All right. In fact, I have a super special job just for you. But hold that thought. <laughs> Will it told me I must go somewhere else to do um a thing that I can't talk about right now. Bye. So, do you want me to arrange the drinks? Hang up some streamers? Put up these fake meat decorations? Oh, that's real meat. Nope. I just need you to patrol the woods in case the solstice slasher comes out and tries to slaughter us all. You got it. I'm sorry, one more time on that? You see, the Solstice Slasher lives in these fairy woods. And every year on the longest day of summer, he emerges with his giant, razor-sharp claws and slashes everyone in sight! Ah! <laughs> yes! Okay, great. I am so glad I got here early to help. <laughs> ah, Solstice Slasher! Ah! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> This was a prank? He scared the pom-poms out of me. Yeah, the Solstice Slasher is just a spooky campfire story we tell the cubs every year. And scaring you was my way of saying, welcome to the pack. Oh, that's so sweet. In a very Willa kind of way. Wow, Winter really outdid herself on the costume this year. Okay, Win, you can come out now. I said you can come out now. Ah, I'm the Solstice Slasher! Coming to, coming to get ya! And stuff. Rawr! Oh, the Solstice Slasher is real! Ah! It's you guys? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Gotcha! gotcha. <laughs> oh, man, that was hysterical. Sure did. Happy summer solstice, boys! Ugh. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, multi hyphen Italian Bucky, and I'd like to welcome you to the Zombie Town Summer Festival of Eating. Not humans or brains or anything, just regular food, official barbecue content. I love regular food! Let's welcome team number one, Addison and Zed! We will be making grilled pizza. This is dough made with starter passed down to me from my alien grandmother. Who knows what secrets it contains? So, ordinary pizza made from old dough. Hey! On to team number two, Willa and Winter, who seem to think that they are in a very different contest. We're digging a fire pit so we can cook the ultimate werewolf delicacy. A whole Sasquatch! Oh. Bold, dramatic, terrifying. And on to team number three, Aspen and Eliza. We have downloaded all of the not humans or brains, just regular barbecue recipes. And instead of choosing, we built a machine that can make it all. All you can eat. Trust me, Zed, these pizzas are gonna be amazing. Yeah, no, I know. It's just we're going up against a Sasquatch and every barbecue food ever created? We need to think bigger. You mean like pesto? No, I mean like this. Ta-da! Isn't that the exact type of soda that caused the zombie apocalypse? Desperate time, sober, and desperate measure! Dead! Honestly, now that the adrenaline's worn off, I'm not even sure what I was going for. What are we gonna do? Okay, that's something. Oh, look, it's got a mouth nap. Look out! <laughs> We built a machine that can make it all. Make it all. Make it all. Hey, Dobro! Come and get it! Everyone should look away now! Is it over? Did we beat it? Does anyone smell something heavenly? <gasps> First pass! Wow, that has to be the first time the winning chef was also the winning food. Actually, when zombies were still eating people, supposedly there was this guy. Hey, is this the barbecue party? Willa invited me. So, what are we eating? 
Eliza, you ready for our camping trip? Oh, no. Dark, empty room. Bloodshot eyes, three days of unanswered texts, empty drink cans completely covering your feet. You've fallen into a summertime coding hole. Leave me alone, working. Zed, if I fall into a summertime coding hole again, please don't leave me alone. Drag me outside if you have to. Signed, Eliza. That was past Eliza. This is present Eliza. P.S. Please don't fall for the past Eliza, present Eliza argument again. I came up with it in the fourth grade, and it's sad that it still works on you. Past me was a realtor. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere till I finish. I'm not letting you miss the whole summer. We are going camping. Finish! Oh, that's it? Yep. And now that I'm done, I would like to go camping. OK, great. So then let's go outside. Who said anything about going outside? I have programmed the most perfect lifelike VR camping simulation ever. What was that? A mosquito drone. Told you it was perfect. All of this is really impressive, but wouldn't it be nice to get some real fresh air? Enjoy some real sunshine? Take a real shower? <laughs> Please? No! I worked really hard in this world, and now that it's done, I'm not leaving. I didn't want to do this, but past you made me promise. Ah! Okay, what are you gonna do? Hit me with a virtual fish? <laughs> yeah. What shape is this room? I've had it. I'm getting you out of here and we are going to enjoy some relaxing nature, whether you like it or not. Never! Hey, Liza. Uh, is that Wyatt? What? No, that's just a generic park ranger. Okay, then who's that? Eliza, over here, it's me, Wyatt. Or that. Eliza, looking very iconoclastic and empowered today. Or that. Power up, power up! So. So. We go camping right now, and you never mentioned this to anyone ever again, including me. Deal. Hey, also, can you hit me in the head really hard so I maybe forget I ever saw that? Mm -hmm. Oh, Zed, I don't want summer to end. Not ever. Imagine endless skies. And endless fries. Right? Looks like we might be in luck. This thingy says it grants wishes. Let's try it. What could go wrong? We wish for endless. 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 Summer! Lake. It's probably from the 900 funnel cakes. Is it me or is it getting hotter by the day? Feel my face burning red like a cherry on a fudge sundae. Will every day in zombie town just be the same till we lose count? Will fun lose all its meaning when, when it, it all, all just keeps, keeps repeating? repeating. <sighs> Time flies when you're having fun. Without warning. Can't tear away out of boring. Did we cause global warming? Pulling out my hair from the same thing, same day, same me. I need another season to save Can't me. Can't eat at the beach shack, no, not ever again. And, and by, by the way, way does this song ever end? end? When time stops, it ain't no fun. Fall forever. No! 
Can someone please tell me why there's a 10-foot carnivorous plant stalking us? Uh... Come on, Eliza. Our presentation's supposed to be about unusual fauna, and the pitcher plant is perfect. I just think a zombie with a carnivorous plant is a bad look. What? Come on. Everybody loves zombies now. You got a point. I know you love them, but maybe someone else doesn't. And the sight of me with a meat-eating plant is enough to push them over the edge. She's also got a point. <laughs> ah, I've got to stop pointing. Let go, let go, let go, let go! I mean, that wasn't our fault, right? Of course it was your fault! I honestly think this town should just stop selling yes. soda. Ah, you three are the most careless, clumsy, irresponsible people I've ever met! <sighs> yes, we have to save him. No, no, right, of course, Fine. of course. was the best one yet. Oh, hey guys, wanna see what we've cooked up for the next pet rally? You've been gone for seven minutes and you taught a mutant two-headed plant to sing and dance? And somehow made top hats for it? Yeah, I'm super talented. Catch up. Dolly, Dusty, from the top. It's Bucky, he's one of a kind. We're so lucky, cause he's a dancing mastermind. Nobody, 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 nobody's better than You know, I don't hate this. Hey, Addison, there's a plant called the hammer orchid that doesn't eat anyone and looks like one flower is giving another flower a high five. Like solidarity between humans and zombies. I love it. High five to seal the deal. Whoa, whoa, don't move unless Dolly and Dusty move you or they will literally rip you in half. Oh, I love this plant. Okay, so after all my meetings, practices, and homework, I'll be able to hang out with Zed at... 2.48 in the morning? Ugh, this schedule is impossible. Ugh, I told Eliza not to keep strange meteorites she finds in her locker. <gasps> ah! Boy, don't freak out. I'm just a perfect clone of you. In fact, this pod can make a whole army of Addison clones to do whatever you want. <gasps> it can? And that's how I was able to spend the whole afternoon with you. Okay. Let me tell you. Having a bunch of clones has made managing my schedule so much easier. What if they're dangerous? Ha! They're copies of me! Oh, and they gave me these. Spray bottles full of water? Yep. They guarantee they stop any of my clones from going rogue. Uh-huh. Are those your clones wheeling out a giant death ray? Yay! Way to go, ladies! Woo! Nice teamwork, nice teamwork everyone! Uh, what's going on? What is that thing? Uh, um, well, it's not a weapon to destroy the human race so that we can take over your planet. Addison! <laughs> I am very conflicted about my feelings. Hey, Addison, why weren't you at cheerleading practice? Or spirit club. Also, why are there like a gazillion of you? So you didn't go to any of my meetings? I kind of feel like you're upset about the wrong thing. Ah! Oh, oh. You got me. <gasps> and you lied about the water? What kind of me are you? It wasn't a real lie. Yeah, she just didn't tell you you have to add chlorine to it. Addison! Addison! Oops. here in time. While all of you were gabbing, I filled the bottles with water from that fountain, which according to health standards, has to maintain a chlorine level of one to three parts per million. You are Whoa. so nice. Nice. Eliza. Brilliant. I guess clones weren't the answer to my scheduling problems. Yeah, no, was it the death ray? Yeah, I'm having the best day ever. I just created a bunch of me. <laughs> Let's eliminate some Bucky. Yeah! Oh, 
leave them alone! The hell they want to destroy the world and remake it in my image! That's right! Get a good stretch in! Cause for today's gym class, we're taking a state fitness test! Ah, uh, oh, come on, coach! Those things are just bizarre! Remember the rope climb with the 12-pound bag of pudding on our backs? Pudding weight is the best weight for climbing! Thanks to Bonzo's love of pudding, I only had to carry six pounds. Oh, what about the twirl around relay race? A perfect test of balance and speed! Bonzo lost six pudding pounds that day, because he, he threw we it. We got it! Okay, this year's state fitness test is a two-mile run while yodeling! Oh, and oh, there it is! Hey, watch this. Master of Distraction. Hey, Coach, what's in the pet carrier? I just adopted a little kitty cat. You want to see her? Bring that little cutie out. Okay, everybody. Meet Razzitaz. <laughs> I call her Razzie for short. Uh, Coach, that's not a cat. I'm a cat. Ah! See? Why would she lie? Well, be, um... So, where'd you get her? I stopped by this little store on my way to work this morning. Never seen it before. Super creepy, but it had all these knickknacks, and you know how much I love knickknacks. Anyways, the old woman behind the counter asked if I wanted to adopt a pet. Before I could say yes, with all my heart, she handed me Razzie and these instructions on how to take care of her. So, anyone want to read these for me? Because I kind of got my hands full. Rule number one, don't let her drink soda. Well, I mean, that pretty much goes for everything in this town. Oh, coach! Huh? Sorry, I wasn't listening. My sweet baby girl was thirsty. <laughs> Um, rule number two, don't make her angry. Nice going, Willa! <sighs> don't worry, I don't want to calm her down. She loves these. Rule number three, whatever you do, do not feed her flowers at 9.43. Hey, I'm a Pia. It doesn't say. Mountain time or Pacific standard? It doesn't say. Well, what time is it now? 9.48. Ew. Oh. What? I actually keep my watch five minutes fast, so I'm never late. <laughs> What'd you say? I made Coach proud. Oh, you sure did, Razzie. You sure did. <laughs> We're trapped! <sighs> Why is there even a robot space bear chasing us? I don't know. What would a bear space robot want with us? I don't know. Why would you call it a bear space robot instead of a robot space bear? I don't know. Maybe it's because the majority of it is a bear, so I felt like that should go first. It's interesting how the names we choose highlight our different perspectives. You tend to ramble when you're anxious. I really do. Come on. I think we can take it. Wait. What if we try talking to it first? You want to try talking to the big, scary, growling thing? Come on. You of all people should know not to judge someone based on how they look. Hey, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Why are you guys hanging out in an alley? Eliza! Ah! A space robot bear! Huh? Space new robot bear. New perspective, new name. Should we talk to it? See? What? Well, if we make friends with it, we can use its size and technology to crush the patriarchy. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Low bridge. Hey, guys. Hanging out in a sketchy alley, huh? Cool. Ah! A space robot a creature! Robot creature! That's definitely not a bear. I can assure you it is not from space. Robot space bear, bear space robot, space robot bear. You guys are all over the map. We really wow. should pick a name it and is stick to it. Really slow. Well, whatever it is, the five of us can take it down. All right, looks like it's a tie. Two for talking and two for fighting. I am interested in either outcome. Oh, <sighs> so unhelpful. We ready to throw down. We're sure that it's a showdown. Zombie strength. Claws are out. Bet it's out to get us. We'll make it regret us. Ain't, Ain't no, no time, time to back down. down. We don't know the truth when I call it truth. Why start a war when we can use words? Try to exist, everybody wins and nobody has to get hurt. We say fight. We say talk. Or you could all get your head ripped off. What do we do right now? What we gonna do right now? What do we do right now? Can't wait to eat ya. Bet you taste great with some ranch on a thin crust pizza. Ah, I hate ranch dressing! Kidding! I was kidding! I thought we could go for gelato! 
Well, I guess they missed their chance to get to know a robot space bear. I knew it! Time to feed Charles the iguana his lunch. He's only allowed five crickets per day. His cholesterol's borderline as it is. <gasps> I left my science homework at home and class is about to start. I did it! I finished the first zombie-built matter transporter that can instantly teleport people through space. <gasps> Perfect! Can I use it to go home and grab my homework? And be my first test subject? Yes! It worked! Now we just have to wait for her to return. Well, that happened fast. Hey, uh, has anyone seen a cricket? I'm missing one. Everybody, shush! Winter's back! <laughs> what is that? One of my crickets must have gotten inside the teleporter and fused with Winter's DNA, turning her into a giant cricket monster. I saw it in a movie once. My machine wouldn't do that. Uh, I think it does! <laughs> Winter's DNA with a cricket? We have to destroy it so this never happens to anyone else. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Willa! What are you doing? Winter? It's me, Willa. Can you hear me in there? You see the world through compound eyes. Still see the you I know inside them. Doesn't matter what form you take The outside's not what friendship's made of Though you're now a wolf in Cricket's clothing There's no need to sink into self-loathing Cause I still see you I still see you You can just be you Hey guys! Winter? Winter? It's a beautiful day, so I decided to come back to school on my own. Plus, I remembered I can run like 35 miles an hour. Will, are you crying? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's Mr. Paddlesticks doing here? Mr. Paddlesticks? Yeah, my giant pet cricket. Isn't that right, little guy? <gasps> what did I tell you about wearing my hat? <sighs> but what about Zed's missing cricket? Yeah, um, they're actually all here. <laughs> so I guess I just miscounted to five. So my teleporter did work? Uh, used to work. Maybe we can help put it Don't back. Don't you touch it! Yeah, I would have reversed the polarity too. Fun, guys, when you're